This is a Chinese ballin, or onion, depending on what you call it. it has a coaxial output here for a coaxial cable, unbalanced by definition. Here at the top, I've got two pieces of wire attached to it, soldered uh, ring terminals. Okay, big heavy piece of fiberglass. All of this came from AliExpress, including the clamp. I showed it in a mail video recently. This is symmetrical left and right. The next thing I have is 24 feet of number 12 wire. Oh, two. This half of the ball. One. At the end of the 24 feet, I have porcelain insulator and some parachute cord, I guess they call it. And I intend to stretch out these wires and since they're not long enough to reach the poles that support them, whatever vertical supports I use, I'll go the rest of the way with the parachute cord. Since I have 24 feet of wire on each side of this ballin, it should make me a quarter wave resonant 10 megacycle antenna. Symmetrical about the center here, converted to an unsymmetrical coaxial cable. I'll show the erection of this next. Here's the center of the dipole mounted on top of this plastic uh, pipe. See, so I have a loop above it. So the wire goes out here, there's the glass egg, gets to a tree where I have a ceramic insulator and then down to the bottom of the tree where I have a cleat. Here's the opposite end of the wire. It attaches to a steel pole. It has a uh, pulley. There's the egg insulator. So we've got wire coming out, changing to parachute cord. The object of the antenna was to get a 10 megahertz signal into the shop. And what I've got is a spectrum analyzer center frequency, 10 megahertz. Start at 9, stop at 11. I have a T on the input. This BNC connector and coax goes to my shop receiver half megahertz to 30 megahertz receiver. It's 25 feet of RG58 leading to the antenna. I've got the uh, attenuator turned off, the preamplifier on. It puts a noise floor below 110 decibels. This is from the spectrum analyzer only. The noise floor of the world around me is around minus 40. This is a uh, AM radio station at 9.39. I'll tune my radio to that. 
That's a foreign language radio station. I'll bet this is another one. Uh, here maybe. Nine points seven. It's also some sort of foreign language station. I'll set the marker to uh, ten megahertz. Right here, center of the span. I'll set the radio to 10 megahertz. So there's WWV at 10 megahertz. Now, the radio does cause uh, some drop in signal. I'll unplug it and you see the signals all in general will go up. See 10 megahertz in particular went up nicely. So WWV is sitting around 9, minus 60 decibels. Put Max hold on. All right. There you can see WWV. Here's the TRF receiver at 10 megahertz. This is called by the uh, guy who designed it, WB8 DSB, a preamplifier. I'm going to call it a post amplifier. The intention here was to provide an additional gain after the TRF to drive a frequency counter. I believe you could probably drive the uh, oscilloscope directly from this. So to WB8 DSB, this is a preamplifier, meaning preamplifier to the frequency counter. So I may call this at times a preamplifier, I may call it a post amplifier. The antenna comes in here, and right now it's going to an oscilloscope. Here we are looking at the oscilloscope. This is the output from the TRF and the amplifier. This is 10 megahertz from my GPS discipline shop source. These are modulation artifacts. You can see when the modulation stops, it gets into a pretty nice sine wave. So you see the forward and backwards motion. That's caused by the Doppler shift. I'll now take it from the oscilloscope and put it on the frequency counter. Here we see it on the frequency counter. Now this frequency counter is, is connected to my shop standard, so it's GPS disciplined. You can see the signal strength is varying. The input impedance is 50 ohms. And frequencies, for all practical purposes, 10 megahertz. Here's the output from the amplifier hooked to the spectrum analyzer. 
uh, same conditions as before, 10 megahertz center, 9 megahertz, 11 megahertz. I keep forgetting it's a touch screen. Pretty clean signal. Every once in a while we see a modulation uh, effect. I'm going to narrow down the span. There's a 600 kilohertz span. You see the 10 megahertz signal is pretty pure. Now I've got 40 decibels of attenuation installed and the output signal is reading minus 20. Averaging on. There we go. Very nice 10 megahertz signal. So I would say this hodgepodge is working. I'll now put it in an enclosure. It may not be the exact right size. I'm going to use whatever I have on hand. And we'll look at it once more as a finished product.